Hi, and welcome back. We're going to look at now what it means to be a connectional church, that we are not congregational, we don't stand alone as independent entities, but we are a part of a larger body of Christ and different expressions of the body of Christ. And you can basically look at the government structure of the Presbyterian Church as kind of mirroring or being parallel with uh, our secular governments. If you look at secular government, you have uh, locally a city government, and then a, a collection of cities make up a county, and we have county government, and then we have state government, and then we have federal government. Now within the church, the corresponding or parallel structures that you might kind of think about this as are within the church we have what we call the local church and it is governed by a session and then a number of sessions make up a presbytery and we here at First Presbyterian Church of Texarkana we are a church within the presbytery of the Pines and our presbytery uh, stretches out over into part of Arkansas and Louisiana. So we are a part of a broader structure called the presbytery. Now a collection of presbyteries form the synod and our particular presbytery is a member of the synod of the sun and it is comprised of four different states. We have Texas, Louisiana, part of Arkansas and part of Oklahoma. So we have four different uh, states that are included as part of our Senate, Our part of those states are included and make up the Senate of the Sun. And then there are a collection of synods. If we take all of the synods in the United States and put them together, we form what we call the General Assembly. And the General Assembly is the national expression, if you will, of the church government of the Presbyterian Church. Now each one of those layers has different responsibilities. And uh, we're blessed with, in another video in just a moment, you're going to get to hear from uh, Joe Hill is the Executive Presbyter of the Presbytery of the Pines. And Joe's going to talk to you a little bit about what a presbytery is and what a presbytery does. Uh, what he would hope every church officer understood about presbyteries. Um, I, as a pastor, am not actually a member of the local church. I am a member of the presbytery. And our presbytery is made up of you. It's made up of officers from the local churches who are commissioned, if you will, by the local session to go and serve uh, as a representative, if you will, as a commissioner of the local church at Presbytery. So as, a, as an elder, if you're watching this and you're an elder, you may get called upon, and I hope you'll take the opportunity to serve as an elder being a commissioner at a presbytery level. And you also may be called upon to serve on a committee of our presbytery. Just as the local church has committees to get the work done of the local church, the presbytery has committees that help achieve the, the means and objectives of the, um, of the body of Christ at a broader level, at a presbytery, a regional level. Now, each of these layers has distinct responsibilities and as you trickle up through it always you will find that the Presbytery, the Senate, the General Assembly don't think of them as they because they are you. Uh, at every level those are folks who are elected from lower levels. Um, so Presbytery is made up of commissioners who have been selected by members of churches uh, the Synod, we have representatives on the Synod who are representatives of the Presbyteries within that Synod. And the GA, uh, when the General Assembly meets, which our General Assembly meets every other year now, so every two years, the General Assembly meets. And when they meet, uh, that body will be made up of ministers and uh, it will be made up of elders, lay people, who have been elected by Presbyteries to be commissioners to General Assembly. Um, so at each level we have lay people involved. It's really important that you understand that that within the Presbyterian Church 
there is also something that we always strive for at each one of these levels, uh, at Presbytery, Synod, and General Assembly level, we're always striving for what we call parity. And that is we try to keep a balance between the representation of lay people and of ministers. Uh, so for instance, when we go to Presbytery of the Pines committee meeting, uh, when we go there, we will bring with us a commissioner from our church uh, to represent you all or to uh, listen to the motions and vote their conscience uh, as a commissioner to that level of the body. And that's true all the way up through the structure. Uh, so we're a connectional church, and the great thing about being a connectional church is that we can achieve some ministries and ministries that we could never do alone by ourselves. Uh, Senate of the Sun, we're doing a fantastic project um, called Solar Under the Sun, uh, which is an initiative that's helping developing countries. We'd never be able to pull that off on our own as First Presbyterian Church, or at least not to the degree of effectiveness we can, when we collect together and we join together and we leap into an initiative like that with a broader structure to support it. Similarly, in Little Rock, uh, in a neighboring presbytery, uh, there is what's called the PDA, uh, Presbyterian Disaster Assistance. Uh, the PDA is a, uh, a mission expression of the Presbyterian Church where we have helped in just innumerable ways, particularly with disaster response to things like Katrina or even overseas where there's been famine and we have collected rice and we have shipped uh, truckloads of rice overseas. Uh, we have sent just an amazing, astounding number of health kits to places like Haiti and uh, places that have been struck by tsunamis or earthquakes. Uh, and you know, all of that is made possible because we are a connectional church of local churches governed by a session, presbyteries, synods, and the General Assembly. So I hope you're really proud of the fact that you're part of something much bigger than just yourself. And, and that's who we are as the connectional church. In our next video, we're going to look at another C word about being Presbyterian. And that is we are a confessional church.